Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I am doing a reading for the Twin Flame Collective. So this is going to be a Twin Flame energy update for both the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. It's been a while since I've done a Twin Flame energy specific reading. And of course, as I always say, Regardless of whether or not you consider yourself to be a twin flame, we all do have a balance of these energies within us, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So you may find that these messages apply to your internal masculine or feminine essence. Equally, you might find that the messages connect with some kind of manifested external relationship connection or love situation. So let's begin with the divine masculine here, because as soon as I began reading into the divine masculine energy, the strongest word that I heard come out here is pain. I also got a name with the letters H-A-R-N, so those could be letter initials in someone's name, but do keep in mind that whenever I channel these very specific names or details in the readings, these are typically meant for specific individuals. So don't worry if they don't connect with you personally. So let's go ahead and pull an emotion card for why the Divine Masculine is in pain here. Worry. Worried and I'm hearing fixated about something that they are worried about. And for many Divine Masculines, I'm hearing that this worry is directly connected to the divine feminine, to the future of this connection, to not knowing where this is going and feeling uncertain, feeling anxious, and at times trying to control from that place of feeling worried or feeling uncertain. But it's as though the divine is pushing the masculine here into the peace that comes through total surrender to the divine unfoldment. And when I say divine unfoldment, I mean surrender to divine timing, surrender to the aligning of energies that causes everything in the physical to unfold perfectly, but beyond the foresight of the human ego. And I see almost the divine masculine here, like trying to cling on to that human ego part of himself. For some reason, I keep hearing the desire to control. So control or possessiveness may have actually been a theme in any type of connection you may have had with this masculine. He may have been someone who came off as possessive or who tried to control divine feminine. You may have felt even at times that this masculine in some sense was trying to control you. And all of this came from a really deep place of fear of surrendering control the word east came out from the love word scramble which is just a tool i use to channel different specific details for the reading so someone here i'm hearing could live on the east coast of a country or the east part of some kind of geographical location ultimately i see that the divine masculine is being shifted into heart-centered, soul-aligned peace, that peace again that can only come through surrendering his control, but it's been a very gradual process of surrendering control for the masculine here. And I'm hearing that because of this this very heavy cloud of worry and this attempt to control surrounding the divine masculine in the physical 
when you divine feminine find yourself around this particular person physically you might feel this density physically in your body for some reason i want to say that this person might even cause you to feel physically sick sometimes without knowing why so you might get headaches or feel physical bodily tension or get stomach aches this may not even be your divine masculine counterpart twin flame that we're talking about here you could be experiencing this with other masculines in your life or a specific person who is undergoing that same collective masculine transformation of being shifted from their fear mentality, from that heavy energy of worry that leads to control into total peace through this very gradual process. So again, this could be your twin flame divine masculine, or this could be even someone else in your life because when we channel into twin flame energy we're not just talking about individuals in your life we're also talking about this collective trend in energy because there is a global masculine and global feminine energy that impacts all of us at the individual level as well and so much of what comes through again could apply all the way down to the microcosm of your internal masculine and feminine, but equally it could apply on a very large scale to these global trends as well. So as I always say, only take the messages if and how they resonate with you. I'm getting a name that may have the letter initials A or R in it here. Also the community card in the upright position. I'm hearing that this divine masculine's intuition is strongly pushing him to make movement toward his divine purpose and path and very specifically for many divine masculines to make movement toward his divine feminine counterpart in the physical world. But I do see that this masculine may at times be resistant to this intuitive impulse, like resisting some of his own intuition. But as he does that, it continues to get louder. And I see that moving into 2023 and beyond, this loudness of the divine masculine's intuition pushing him into action towards the divine feminine is going to increasingly break forth into the physical visible realm so in the extended version of the reading on patreon we will be channeling more deeply into how the divine masculine's intuition is pushing him at this time and we'll also be channeling some predictive messages on how that could look in the physical world moving into the rest of 2023 Okay, so I am now going to be reshuffling the cards here. And right as I began turning my attention to the Divine Feminine Energy, a strong word that came out for some Divine Feminines is confusion. And yet, the cards that are most dominant from the emotional deck on your energy are abundance, and patience the patience card has an affirmation i'm also feeling really guided to read and this affirmation says i accept that everything happens in divine order the abundance card affirmation says i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality two very powerful messages and affirmations here I see that the confusion at times, if you are a divine feminine who has been feeling confused, and I got this major download around this confusion, it may be because there is a part of you who is still trying to see out into the future and plan out exactly how things in your life are going to look, exactly how a dominant love connection in your life is going to look. And you are someone who 
I'm getting the letter D in someone's name potentially. You are someone who has been extremely intuitively connected your entire life. So without realizing it, you've actually been able to sense into future timelines for yourself your whole life. So subconsciously, perhaps, you have always been able to somewhat sense how things are going to play out for you in the physical world or in particular jobs in certain businesses in certain connections platonically or romantically and you've been able to use these extrasensory intuitive perceptions to actually guide your current moment action from this place of knowing. But again, much of this was very subconscious in the past. So you may not have really known why you would make certain decisions or change course in certain ways. But again, it's because you were always very intuitively connected but in recent times, I am hearing exercise in trust, like your guides recently have been putting you through this exercise in trust. And what this means is, and I'm getting chills all over just reading into your energy here. What this means is you've been placed in situations, in connections, in life circumstances where you have that intuitive sense for the future a bit blocked off, meaning you are no longer able to sense where things are going to go, how things are going to play out. I see someone who may have in the past really liked to set very clear-cut goals and timelines attached to those goals or to really map out your life in very specific ways. And in the past, that may have really been effective for you as a technique to grow and to expand, but you reached a level of growth where your guide said, okay, I'm hearing you're able to do this with your eyes open. Are you able to do this with your eyes closed? It's almost like when you learn an obstacle course of some kind and then you get so good at it that to raise your skill level, you then do the same obstacle course blindfolded to increase some of your other senses. And I see that that really strong intuitive knowing has been divinely cut off for you in certain ways intentionally at this higher spiritual level to teach you how to trust in your present moment awareness of the next right step, whatever that is for you, without being able to sense into or see the entire path. And I'm hearing your guide say, if you were to know the entire path in a concrete way, then the exercise would lose its value. It's this very strange message coming through, but I feel this is for the purpose of even greater spiritual expansion. And ultimately, this is also pushing you to live fully and completely in the present moment. I'm hearing The Power of Now, which of course is an amazing book by Eckhart Tolle. So you might be guided to that book or just to the spiritual teachings regarding being and living fully in the present moment and being able to confidently follow your intuition in those present moments, even when you have absolutely no idea how those intuitive steps are going to play out later on down the road. Wow, very, very powerful messages coming through for you today, Divine Feminine, which reminds me to say that for those of you who are new here, know that you aren't just a passive listener, but quite literally a co-creator here on this channel through these videos, because whenever you listen to this video, whether it's in the present or the future, you are actually contributing your energy to the reading. And since time doesn't exist on an energetic level, I'm actually picking up on your energy, even of those of you watching 
in the future and you are co-creating the messages that come forth and if you would like to tie yourself in more strongly to this collective to be a more active part of that co-creation of these readings i do invite you to subscribe and like the video as well as these two actions do help me to pick up more easily on your frequency and channel more specifically for you so I'm really feeling that in the extended version of the reading for any divine feminines connecting with having your futuristic intuition blocked, not being able to predict out into the future, whether it's in a love situation, a life situation, some kind of decision you're making and feeling confusion from this, I'm going to channel more messages from your higher self and spirit guides about any indecision or confusion or blindsidedness you might be feeling at this time. So the link to that extended reading with those messages is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. But what's really beautiful on your energy here, Divine Feminine, is that what keeps standing out is that abundance card telling us that through the potential confusion, through those moments of feeling blind or not knowing what to do or how to move forward in certain ways, through even some of the emotional pain that you might be feeling at this time, the void, some of you might be feeling, whether that's a void in your love life or your friendships, your social connection, your work, through all of this, something extremely powerful is taking place on the energetic plane. You are architecting this foundation of abundance energetically that is going to, I'm hearing, support you completely and profoundly moving forward that is laying the groundwork for really powerful manifestations that you're bringing into your life. And of course, I'm hearing your guides say, but you have to trust the process. You have to trust what you're feeling in the moment, even if it doesn't fully make sense to you. If you feel stuck, you have to trust that you maybe are where you are in that stuck place or that place your ego is labeling as stuck for a reason. If you're feeling lost, then trust that wherever you are wandering, you are for a reason, that this all serves a higher level divine purpose, especially when it comes to, to building this foundation of abundance for you moving into the future. But when I talk about abundance, I don't just mean material abundance, although that is a portion, a part of what you are manifesting. I'm talking about a kind of emotional abundance. I'm talking about the capacity to fully see and understand others because you as this multifaceted being have gone through so much trial and hardship in your life that you can see other people from all angles and sides. I'm talking about I'm talking about a spiritual abundance as well, freeing yourself psychically, mentally from all forms of restriction allowing yourself to live completely free and unrestricted and as that truly limitless being that you are, whatever that means for you personally. I'm hearing travel, so travel might be something very specific that someone desires to do and is manifesting into their life. I heard the name Martha for someone as well. Yeah, and this card says activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. So it's very synchronistic. This card came out right as we were talking about travel because I'm hearing that if you've felt the urge to travel to certain locations or just generally to begin traveling, trust where you're being led physically, geographically, because Everything holds a kind of energetic information and physical locations equally hold energetic information. So with this card, Activated Earth, what this is really saying is 
Sometimes you're guided to specific geographical locations to retrieve some kind of deeper level spiritual wisdom and knowledge that might be infused to you at an unconscious level as you are visiting that particular physical location. But equally, your energetic presence in that place has an impact upon it as well. You activate it in a sense with your energy. You are a beacon of light there in that place on this higher spiritual level. And perhaps those impulses you might have to go to certain places or to stay in certain places. For some of you, this may not apply to traveling. This could actually be you feeling as though you want to stay in a certain place. This could be even your hometown. This could be somewhere you moved to. And you're not sure why you feel like you want to stay there for the time being for the present moment. And it could be because there is some energetic exchange happening between you and the earth, so to speak, that location, so to speak, that you are both gleaning a kind of spiritual wisdom from where you are while at the same time activating that location at a higher level, being this beacon of light that creates a powerful ripple effect impacting everyone and everything around where you are planted. But the key here is through all of this to trust yourself, to trust those impulses, those emotions, that guidance coming up from within yourself, even when and especially when you are feeling a bit blindsided by the universe about how exactly everything is going to play itself out because the other dominant emotion card we have for you divine feminine is of course that patience card i accept that everything happens and is happening at present in divine order I'm hearing everything is going according to plan. Release any worries you have surrounding that. We have angel of strength reversed and also the first chakra, the root chakra in the upright position, sitting on the solar plexus, the seat of self-worth and confidence and boundaries. And I see that with angel of strength reversed on the sacral chakra, you might actually have lower abdominal discomfort at times. Although of course, always consult a medical professional first. I am not a medical professional, but if you do have these feelings of discomfort with no medical cause, this could be related to a sacral chakra purging I'm picking up on that's happening within you. This is connecting with intimacy, with I'm hearing relationships from your past. So some people from your past may be coming up or coming back in dreams or just within your mind and everything is connected and it's all related to energies. So when you feel even your mind drifting back to a particular person from your past or a situation from your past, this is because this person is or this experience is at this time being deeply cleared out almost i'm seeing it being like extracted from your energetic field it's as though the divine is saying this experience or this person from your past is no longer going to impact your vibrational set point any longer we are extracting them because i see that even if you don't consciously think much about this person or this could be a series of people their past experiences they may have been causing you and i keep hearing abandonment to fear abandonment and to react in certain ways as a result of that I'm hearing gut health. So some of you as well might be feeling guided to promote good gut health within yourself if that connects with someone related to any dietary things or regimes of sorts. I feel that will just be for a few people here. But again, all of this is related to the changes happening in your sacral and solar plexus. Now, I do feel that at times you might be feeling a heightened sense of emotionality because of this sacral chakra purge happening within you, and yet your guides are telling you that all of this is for the purpose of bolstering a powerful core of self-confidence and self-worth, a knowingness of your true worth and value 
with the root chakra and the sacral chakra connecting here. It's like you moving forward with a foundation of strong self-worth and self-confidence. So what else can I channel here? So we have the journey card and I heard this kind of strange message that you are on a soul's journey right now, or your soul is on this kind of spiritual journey. Now, for some of you, this may look like a physical journey as well. So you might be physically guided to travel as we mentioned earlier, but for many of you, this journey is taken mostly, if not entirely, internally and even unconsciously, meaning you might not be fully consciously aware of this, but because your soul is undergoing this radical expansion that I'm calling a journey here, you might find that you are unusually tired. I'm hearing even the word exhausted. Your physical body may feel unusually sore. You might be sleeping more frequently and specifically i'm hearing your soul saying i am too busy expanding and growing and subconsciously retrieving knowledge and wisdom and information and assimilating all of that incorporating all of that to allow anyone or anything into my energetic field that would weigh me down at this time which really brings me all the way back to earlier when we were talking about how there could be a masculine, this could even be your divine masculine twin flame if he's living in a very wounded state at this time or resisting that surrender to the divine, you might find that around this masculine or other masculines in your life specifically that you feel this almost visceral negative physical reaction to being around them almost like an allergic sort of reaction, spiritually speaking. And if you do feel that way around anyone in your life who is still living in very strong fear mentality, this may be your soul telling you, maybe we'll be able to connect with this person later on down the line. But for now, we have very important work to do and connecting with this person in this way is slowing us down, is weighting us down, is preventing us from doing that very powerful and important expansion work beneath the surface of ourselves. And again, it all comes back over and over to that thematic message of trusting those feelings, trust the intuition as it is delivered to you, whether that's through your thoughts, through your emotions, or even through your physical body, the feelings in your body you get around certain people or places. The intuition exists at so many levels and layers, but it can only be accessed in the present moment. And this is what can become so confusing and frustrating, particularly for divine feminines at this time. Again, having some of that future knowingness blinded to you at this time, it is particularly a challenge because you are learning how to fully connect with and throw yourself into that present moment intuitive guidance without having any clue how anything is going to unfold itself moving into the future, but know that it is leading to profound abundance to profound manifestation of those heart-centered desires you've been holding within yourself potentially since childhood, those fulfilling, aligned, beautiful connections platonically and romantically. Trust the guidance given to you in the present. That is the strongest message I'm picking up from many of your guides at this moment in time. And in the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more into what the divine masculines coming through this reading are thinking and feeling, what they might want to say to you at a higher self level, divine feminine at this time. I'll also be channeling more messages from your higher self and your spirit guides divine feminine as well so if you would like to head over with me now to the extended reading on patreon the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box under this video Otherwise, I am sending you so much love today. I am wishing you the most beautiful start to your week. 
Let me know in the comments if anything from this reading connected with you personally. And you can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself. The link to the extended reading where we'll be going now is under the video. Have a beautiful day and I will talk to you again in Wednesday's reading 